How do you transform or convert fractions? Pag-usapan natin yan in this new Learn with Like a video. Now, very important na skill ang pagtatransform ng fractions, lalo na kung kailangan mong mag-add o mag-subtract ng fractions. Bakit? Kasi kailangan pareho sila ng denominator or yung number na nasa ilalim. So, sa case na ito, yung 1 half, kung kailangan kong gawin na over 6 siya, ngayon ang kailangan mong gawin. Titingnan mo yung denominator na gusto mong maging. So, 6. I-divide mo siya sa 2. So, 6 divided by 2. Tapos, i-multiply mo siya sa number na nasa taas, which is 1. So, 6 divided by 2, which is 3 times 1, that would be 3. So, ang 1 half ay pareho lang sa 3 over 6. Alright? Now, it's your turn. Paano ito? Comment nyo nga and don't forget to follow me for more. How do you convert mixed numbers into improper fractions? Now, look at this number that we have right here. We have yung tinatawag nating mixed number dahil meron siyang halo or mix ng whole number which is 2 at ng fraction which is 4 over 5. Now, paano natin siya gagawin improper fraction? Ano muna ba ang improper fraction? Ang improper fraction ay isang fraction na mas malaki ang number niya as a numerator kaysa sa number na nasa ilalim or yung denominator. And hindi ito ang ideal na pagsusulat ng fraction. Kaya meron tayong cases na kailangan nating i-convert or i-transform yung mixed number into improper fraction at yung improper fraction into a mixed number, which we're going to talk about next time. Now, dito muna tayo. 2 and 4 over 5. Paano ko siya gagawing improper fraction? Simple lang yan. Iikutin mo lang. Okay? So, you start with the 2, tapos iikutin mo siya pataas. 2... The first thing that you're going to do is to multiply it by the denominator times 5, which will give you 10. Tapos, iikot mo ulit doon siya sa 4. Ang gagawin mo naman this time is to add. So, 2 times 5, which is 10, plus 4. 10 plus 4 is 14. And now, you have 14. Tapos, ilalagay mo lang yung same denominator, 14 over 5. So, again, ikot, ikot lang. Alright? Now, it's your turn. Pakiconvert nga ito into an improper fraction. How do you turn an improper fraction into a mixed number? Last time, napag-usapan natin kung paano i-convert yung mixed number or yung number na may whole number at fraction into an improper fraction or yung fraction na mas mataas yung number na nasa taas kaysa sa nasa baba. Ngayon, baliktad naman. And why is it important? Kasi sa maraming mga exams, kailangan mo rin na ibalik ito sa mixed number after you solve yung problem. Dahil sa options, probably mixed number yung mga nakalagay. So, anong gagawin natin? The first thing that you need to do is to divide 8 by 3. 8 divided by 3 is 2 remainder 2. Ano ibig sabihin 2 remainder 2? Dahil ang dalawang 3 ay 6, may tira ka pa or sukli na dalawa. Okay? Ang gagawin mo lang ngayon is to leave 2, yung whole number as 2. Hindi mo na kailangan gaming decimal. Yung remainder na 2 ay lalagyan mo lang sa ilalim ng over 3. So, the answer is 2 and 2 thirds or 2 and 2 over 3. Again, divide and then yung remainder, lalagyan mo lang siya ng same denominator na meron dun sa original fraction. Alright? Now, it's your turn. Pakiconvert nga ito. Comment nyo nga and don't forget to follow me for more. How do you turn decimals into fractions? So, very important skill ito dahil pagdating sa mga exams like UPCAT, uh, Civil Service, PILSAT, LAE, at marami pang iba. May mga problems na decimal ang sagot, pero pagdating mo dun sa mga options, puro fraction yung binigay. So, kahit alam mo na yung tamang sagot, kailangan mo pa itong i-convert para mahanap mo kung ano talaga yung totoong tamang sagot dun sa options na binigay. So, simulan na natin. Let's start with the first example. We have 0.71. Ganito lang ang gagawin mo. Bibilangin mo kung ilan yung mga decimal places na kailangan mong iurong para maging buong number yung decimal. Sa case ng 0.71, you have 1, 2 para maging 71 siya. Tapos maglalagay ka ng abang sa ilalim na fraction na nagsisimula sa 1. So yung 0.71 na may dalawang paggalaw para maging buong number siya, ang kanya magiging denominator ay 100. Dalawang 0 ang idudugtong mo dun sa nakaabang na 1. 
So, ang fraction form ng 0.71 ay 71 over 100. Now, sa case na ito, final answer na yan dahil prime number naman ng 71. Ibig sabihin, hindi mo na siya pwedeng i-divide sa kahit anong number maliban sa sarili niya. At sa number na 1, hindi mo na pwedeng i-reduce yan sa lowest terms. Now, paano kung hindi naman prime number? Let's take 0.4. Ang point 0.4, dahil isang beses mo lang yung gagalaw yung decimal place para maging whole number siya, will be 4 over 10. Again, isang zero lang idadagdag ko dun sa 1 na nakaabang sa ilalim dahil isang beses ko lang naman siyang ginalaw. So now we have 4 over 10 as its fraction form. Now in exams, kailan mo pa ito i-reduce sa lowest terms madalas. Napag-usapan na natin yan in one of my earlier videos. And ang gagawin mo lang dyan would be i-divide ko sila pareho sa 2. Dahil pareho naman silang even. At ang may iwan sa'yo ay 2 over 5. So the answer is 2 over 5. Again, you just need to move the decimal place, figure out kung ano ilalagay mong uh, denominator, ask yourself kung pwede ko pa siya introduce sa lowest terms, and then you'll have your answer. Alright? Now it's your turn. Anong sagot dito? Comment nyo nga, and don't forget to follow me for more. How do you turn fractions into decimals? Pag-usapan na natin dati kung paano ginagawang fractions yung mga decimals, ngayon baliktad naman. Yung mga fractions naman, sila naman ang magiging decimals. Now, let's take this as an example. We have 4 over 5. Ang 4 over 5, binubuo siya ng 4 as the numerator, yung number na nasa taas, and 5 as the denominator or yung number na nasa ilalim. Ang gagawin lang natin is i-divide natin yung numerator or yung 4 by yung number na nasa ilalim or denominator which is 5. So, 4 divided by 5. Now, dito napapasok yung familiarity natin when it comes to the process ng pag-divide ng mga numbers, especially kapag sila ay mas maliit kaysa sa number na pinag-divide natin sa kanya. So, ang 4 divided by 5, ang gagawin lang natin dyan, dahil mas maliit ang 4 sa 5, ay lalagyan natin siya ng decimal. So, 0 point na siya, tapos this will give us permission na magbaba ng 0 dun sa 4. So, yung 4 magiging 40. And 40 ngayon, divided by 5, pwede na siya. 40 divided by 5 is 8. So, the answer is 0 0.8. Kaya ang 4 over 5 ay 0 0.8. Again, i-divide mo lang yung numerator sa denominator. Okay? Now, it's your turn. Turn this into yung kanyang decimal form. Comment nyo nga and don't forget to follow me for more. Alright, so thank you for watching till the end of this video. If you want to learn more, if you want to watch the other videos I'm going to be making, don't forget to hit subscribe and hit that bell icon. Turn your notifications for all the updates that we have. Again, we have a lot of soon. And uh, thank you for joining the team. I know this community has been kind to me for the past six years now. And I'm so happy that I get to welcome you as part of this team as well. Thanks guys and uh, I'll see you soon.